One of my friend's mother gave me a box of toys that are over 50 years old she's had in the attic. I can't wait to go through it all and see what's in that box. Hey everyone, my name's Chris. I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Now I'm about to open up a toy museum in the future, so I keep adding to my collection, and today I'm super excited to see what's in this mystery box that came from the attic. It's been in there about 53 years. I'm also applying to be on MeTV's Collector's Call for season four, so keep your fingers crossed I'm cast. Now I'm a baby YouTuber, so I am trying to build up my channel and get subscribers. So if you like toys and learning the value of toys, just hit like and hit subscribe and help me out. All right, this is what she gave me. I'm so excited to go through this and it's been about to kill me not to go through it so far, but I wanted to go through it on video so we could see exactly what we got. So um, again, thank you to Lydia for giving me all of this. I'll totally treasure it and I'll put it all in the toy museum and I can't wait to see what we got. All right, let me just dig in and see. All right, first we got a, a Kokins or an astronaut suit. You can tell it's old because it's got that old timey zipper on it. I'm gonna have to do a, another video after we get through going through the box and see what it's all worth and what it goes to. All right, this is like, Clean his face up a little bit. It's like an Indian doll, maybe from Long Ranger, something like that. We'll have to do some research on him, see if we can clean him up a little bit. I don't know any of these guys. This looks like he's probably from the same set. He's probably maybe the bad guy or the Long Ranger. I'll have to look it up. I don't know enough about them. Those are cool though. I don't know who this little guy is. He's like a little seven or eight inch figure. Hmm. I am no help identifying these. I'm a member of one of those Barbie groups on Facebook where you can identify your Barbies and stuff. Wow, all kinds of accessories. All right, let's just dig in here and see what we've got. Hmm. If you recognize any of this, feel free in the comment section just to let me know because I am totally new to all of this. Let's see what we've got. We've got a hat. Maybe the matches to these are down in the box. Let's hope. We've got an orange boot. That looks like these look like old vintage Barbie boots. Hmm. Kind of mask. Probably goes to one of them. Oh, this is like a. I forget what these are called. Quivers or. The pouch they put arrows in. Mm, got a necklace. Probably goes with him. Somebody did a good job keeping up with their toys. This is like a knife holder. Part of a, maybe a D.I. Joe set. Come on, let's have some matches to some of these shoes in here. Ah, got a black boot and a brown boot. Oh. You know, sometimes when you're valuing toys and chainsaw, the, the little accessory pieces are, are worth a lot because it's, it helps somebody else complete their set. I've got two guns. Oh, I bet this is the holster to the guns. Okay, got a rattlesnake. A one-eyed poodle. Makes a rattle noise. Maybe an old baby rattle. A plate. Oh, another boot. But it's a different boot. Hmm. And we have one flipper. Oh, the hat. That's his hat. Yep, got his hat. Got a spear. Oh, and one arrow. Probably doing some that. Got a gun. Rifle. One more shoe. Got a lot of one shoes here. The doll cup. The motorcycle. Barbie or 
to the right of Koya. So the headband with feathers belong to the Indian. The Indian must have different hats. They're all made of the same, same brown rubber. Green box that was all in. I don't think that box is worth anything. This is the box. I'm so excited! Ah. This is a safe. Safe is something. See what we have here. And all. This thing with your shoes up a little bit. It's missing foot. Maybe we can find another boot to put on his foot. Another piece of the Indian. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Okay. This is a baby decoration, so maybe a, a vintage baby shower or something like that. Let's see who else. This is the uniform. It's on the hat. Like an old G.I. Joe doll or something like a scuba tank. Guys, if you know about any of this, let me know. Control panel. Yes. Quite a saddle. We don't have a horse in here, do we? No. Ooh, but we do have a Indian headdress. Come with a lot of accessories. Frying pan. Let me show some here before we go in that bowl. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Here's one of the bathrooms. Let's see what's going on. jacket. Another flipper. One Barbie be in here. Alright. A brush. I don't know my old Barbies and stuff. I'm going to put them in the Barbie ID group and see if anybody else knows them. Value for missing an arm. Maybe somebody has a, a loose arm. Hmm, it's very 70s. He's a neat mom. He's a little bit bigger. Bad shape, girl, you're missing an arm and a leg. Yeah, 
any loose arms and legs down here? There's a web. Our first match. This is like a dog dog. Let's get in here. Pieces. Oh, more of his arrows. That's good. Probably hmm. ice cream cone. Oh no. This is just trash. All right. Well, mega phone. Put the camera down for a minute. Alright, we're gonna open the bag up now. Let's see what we have. Musical merry go round night light. Oh, I don't think I can do it one handed. Oh no, gotta use my body. That's kind of cute. Plugs in. Okay. Still in the box. It's a good find. Well, this is all Barbie clothes and Mother Goose book. Another piece of the Indian or bad guy. Lots of Barbie clothes. Lord, I don't know what Barbie clothes are worth. All right, let's see what we got. Army trench coat. It's like a sleeping bag. I don't know if that's homemade or kind of looks homemade. Hmm. What is this? It's hard to do it one-handed. All right, it's just a little dress. Don't see any Barbie label. I think I've seen this dress on dolls before. Hmm. It's got an old zipper. Don't know. I'm no help. Oh my goodness, people are gonna have to help me. This is a I need a camera stand. I can't do it one-handed. This is a long white dress, maybe a wedding dress. A little pink dress. Now that looks orange like it goes with that boot. It might be part of that. Let's see if we can find another boot. All right. Well, I don't know what that is. Swimsuit, head cover. A little dress, a little vintage dress, a little dress. Oh, I see a Barbie label in this one. Well, that's kind of cool. It's probably worth a few dollars. Let's see what else? A little patchwork dress. God, so many clothes. Well, Pink and white dress. Skirt. So we won't find any of our missing stuff. Oop, there's a doll. Hmm. Don't know who she is. She has her hands and feet. Got 
pantsuit. It's really cute. Little dress or jacket. Try to go faster. Jacket. Swim suit. It's like a drum to our Indian. Little handmade dress. Purse. If you guys see anything that's worth anything, let me know because I don't have a clue about any of this. I know that the good dresses, I might find some of the, the nude Barbies we have and put them on it. Oh Lord, a shoe. Does this match it? Yes, we have our first match of shoes. All right, I have a sweater, black sweater, it's like a veil. Green shirt, Maybe a skirt, a little butterfly dress, kind of cute. Kind of checker. Hmm. So we had some kind of. I don't know what this is? It's like a collar. Maybe a scarecrow or something. Dress. Hmm. Oh, have a wrap. Still finding Indian pieces. A pouch. Indian must have come with a lot of accessories. I don't know what that is? A skirt or a blanket? A couple top. Oh, I don't think we're gonna find any million dollar surprise. Little jacket. A jacket, one of those little ice creams. Oh. What? Oh. Everything. Let me put the camera down for a second so I can pour it out. All right, this is everything else in the bag when I poured it out. Thank you. Little dress with a handkerchief pattern. Another one of those little ice creams. Could be the same one. It's hard to do this with one hand. I'll get better as I do more videos. I don't know what that is. Oh, a boot. Wait, is that another boot? Hmm, I don't really ever seen one like that. Oh, yes, yes. We have a set of boots. And then this one. For collar, it says Barbie in it. It says Barbie in it, it's probably worth something. Little dress, maybe a pillow to the sleeping bag, more little camping stuff, a skull and fire. Ooh, a missing arm. Might be this girl's arm, but we never, oh yeah, we found your leg. Maybe we can piece you back together. Fast. Gun. Is this a pair of shoes? Nope. They don't match. Another piece of Indian. Sweater. Pants. 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 Ooh, what is this? Maybe like a jumpsuit. Still don't know what those are. Maybe. Maybe that was in trash. Maybe you put that together like a candlestick. Skirt. Shirt, shirt, pants that match that. Bam, bam. A shield, a gun, a front pan, another hat. That's it. Nothing amazing, but I think I can clean a lot of these up and make something good out of it. Now I'm gonna go see if any of it has any value. All right, I'm gonna go search around on eBay now and see what some of this is and if it has any value. I probably would never sell any of it because it was a gift and people. When people give me stuff, I like to keep it for the toy museum and um, remember their generosity. All of this was given to me by my friend Tara's mom, Lydia Long. She's actually moving and retiring to Florida, so she's cleaning out her house. And um, Tara told her that 
I would appreciate all this and I would put it in the museum so it was gifted to me and I certainly appreciate it and I'll certainly take care of it and I'll put it on some vintage dolls. One of the little golden books, the Mother Goose book, was in good enough shape to keep. All the pages were still there, and it was printed in 1942, so that book is 80 years old, but it's only worth about $7 right now on eBay. Little vintage merry-go-round nightlight is worth about $20. Now, for all those Barbie clothes, I had to go to a Facebook group called ID My Barbie and Other Fashion Dolls. Now these ladies in this group and I think a couple guys were very helpful in identifying all the clothing and all the dolls. I never could have done that on my own so I certainly appreciate all of their help. You guys were awesome. Now I was really surprised a lot of these vintage Barbie clothes were worth so much. I, had, I knew they'd be worth a little bit but um, all these ladies helped me identify them and this little orange and pink dress is worth about $15 on eBay without all of the accessories for that one little dress. This little dress is called Fraternity Dance and it's worth up to $90 on eBay without the accessories but mine has a couple holes in it so I'm only going to put it at $10. All right, this green paisley looking dress is called In Blooms, and without any accessories, it's worth $45. I was shocked, and I couldn't find this little black shirt. Here's what the In Blooms looks like when it's in the package. All right, here are the next two pieces we dug out of that big bag of Barbie clothes. Alright, this set is called Velvet Venture. It's a coat and a dress, and I have the dress listed a little bit further down in some other pictures. I didn't know they went together until the Barbie group told me, but it's worth $95. I couldn't believe it. And the little polka dotted shirt and pants I was kind of throwing around at the end of the video. I thought they were some kind of knockoff clothes or something. It's called Bloom Zoom, and it's worth $35 for the two pieces. All right, here are the pants to the set. And then this little dress is called Brunch Time. Now this little bitty dress with these butterflies all over it is worth about $20 on eBay. Now all of these clothes weren't listed as Barbie clothes, so we're just gonna put $10 on the three pieces. But the little record player is worth $10 by itself, so that's 20. And then in this group, the little towel on the left is from Malibu Barbie worth $10. The red swimsuits from 1962, it's worth about $15. And then that little striped swimsuit up in the right hand corner, it goes to the fancy doll in the set. Now the ladies in the Barbie ID group did identify this doll for me that's in the box later. It's a twist and turn fancy, so that swimsuit goes on her. And then this is a picture of the 1962 Barbie that has the red swimsuit that's in this lot. That swimsuit is 60 years old. Amazing. Now on this set, we can identify the jacket but not the white pants set. The jacket is from the Francie doll and it's worth $40 alone. The other set's probably $10. Now this little bronze and gold color dress actually goes to a set we mentioned previously. It goes to that um, Velvet Ven Venture dress, the one that was worth $95. That just blew my mind. I couldn't believe that was worth that much. But um, that's why you gotta love Barbie collectors. And then the little yellow coat is worth about $10. These two little dresses didn't look like much when I pulled them out of the bag, but I'm glad I took them to that Barbie ID group. The little scrunched up silver and white one is called Glow Go, and on eBay it's worth about $35. And then this little pink and white checkered dress is called Dancing Doll, and it's worth about $50. Just amazing. Now these pieces include a wedding dress with a veil, and then a little black dress. Now the wedding dress is actually called Wedding Wonder. And I can't believe it, the lowest price on eBay is $80 for this little set. Now the other piece we have is called Midi Magic. And without the accessories, the dress alone is worth $25. Now out of this little pile, our ladies were able to identify two pieces. This little orange and green mini dress is called Two-Way Tiger, and it's worth about 
We have the jacket and the top to this set from Theater Date. So since we don't have the complete set, it's worth about $12. Now, all of these miscellaneous pieces, the red and blue outfit goes to this busy talking Barbie, which we have the doll to, so I'm going to put the outfit with her and value her a little bit later. And then these little vintage patchwork and handkerchief dresses are worth about $5 each. This little silver and teal dress is called Firelight's Hostess, and mine does have a hole in the back, so we'd have to sew it up, but it's still worth about $20. Now someone said they think all of these accessories go to the big gym dolls for the boys, so they valued this at about $10 for the accessories. And then these G.I. Joe and Big Jim clothing items, especially the spacesuit in the set, will fetch at least another $20. And then we found out the Indian doll is called Geronimo. And then the doll in the black outfit is called Sam Cobra. Our Geronimo doll is not in the box and he has a mark on his face that won't come off. But he has a ton of accessories so he's worth at least $30. And then the Sam Cobra doll has his holster and guns and hat. And he's not in the box but he's still worth about $45. I was sent this photo of what the whole set looks like. I sure wish I could get this entire collection from my toy museum. It's really cool. Now, I didn't think a lot of these dolls would have any value because some of them are missing legs and arms or need to be glued back together. But I was really surprised some of them do still have some value. The Malibu Ken doll is worth about $15 because ours had a, a foot that was chewed off. We'll put a shoe on him. He'll be okay. Our twist and turn PJ doll is not in the best of condition, but she's still worth $25 in this shape. Now this 1972 Busy Talking Barbie, we actually have the doll and the outfit and I think the boots now. So her head alone is worth $80 and the outfit $25, so she's worth at least $100. Now this Growing Hair Francie doll we have, she's worth $65 right now on eBay. Again, I'm so glad the ladies in the Barbie ID group could identify all these dolls for us. The first doll is actually from the Dawn doll collection. He's worth $30. His name's Gary. Another Dawn doll, this is Angie in the topper line. She's worth $38. And then we have this little Dolly Darwin doll by Hasbro. She's worth $12. And now to identify this last batch of dolls. There's four dolls in this group. And this first doll, the boy doll in the blue shirt, I actually found his pants, boots, and gun in the bag. It's a Long Ranger doll. And he's worth about $20. The next doll in that set was a 1971 Malibu Barbie doll. And she's worth about $15 in the condition we have. And once we got her swimsuit back on her, this 1967 Twist and Turn Fancy is worth about $85. And then this last doll, the ladies in the ID group said it's the right head but the wrong body. It's a 1968 Talking Stacy, and the head is worth about $30. And then these loose shoes, just one shoe. I probably will sell these on eBay to help somebody else finish their collection. So we'll probably get about $20 for all these. So I know what you're thinking. So what's it all worth? Well, when we add it all up, it's worth $1,169 from that little box of old toys in the attic. Thank you so much to Tara and Lydia for giving me this big box of toys. It's priceless to me and I'm honored to put it in my toy museum. You can also learn more about my toy museum on Facebook under Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum.